this service of remembrance that we're recording live today. Good morning, my name's um, Robert White. I've stood here 10 years in the 1st Battalion of Chief Frederick's Royal Regiment, Barcher of Wiltshire. I left the regular army and joined the Territorial Army. I uh, did 12 years in them, in the 3rd Battalion, the Worcestershire and Shirk Foresters. I've been a standard bearer for the Big Clover Royal British Legion now for approximately four years. I enjoy every minute of it. My name is Simon Briggs. I served in the British Army for 12 years. I left in 97 when I became the standard bearer for Royal British Legion Micklover, which I've been now for the last 25 years. A warm welcome to Michelover Royal British Legion's commemoration for Remembrance. This year the COVID-19 pandemic has brought many sorrows and difficulties across this nation and has meant that our normal arrangements for Remembrance have had to be changed. We hope that by recording this act of Remembrance in advance and broadcasting it online on the day, it will enable all of us to remember appropriately the sacrifices of our armed services in the past and in the present. In addition, we of course remember those who have died during the pandemic and locally we remember the staff, children and families of Ravensdale Infant School whose school was recently destroyed by fire. We offer our prayers and our support to all those suffering in whatever way and we pray for courage for all of us as we face the coming weeks. Because of increasing COVID-19 restrictions we will not be able to gather on Remembrance Sunday and so we suggest that each of us stand in silence on our doorsteps at 11 o'clock on the 11th of November to remember.
They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, For your tomorrows we gave our today. The men of Miklova who lost their lives in the two world wars, World War I, 1914-1918, Charles Sisson Eyre, England, Harold H. Ball, France, Lawrence V. Ball, England, Walter Bradley, England, Arthur Herbert Caborn, France, William Hugh Coxon, France, Eric William Dunstan, France, George William Dunn, France, Herbert Arthur Dunn, France, Thomas Dunn, France, Arthur Foster, France, Arthur William Foster, France, Percy John Foster, France, Ernest Foster, France, Thomas H. Foster, France. R. H. Higgins, England, William Macomb, France, Arthur Millward, France, Robert Ernest Millward, France, Albert Victor Orme, Turkey, David Utram, France, Charles Thomas Rawson, France, Percy William Rawson, England, William Albert Shardlow, Persia, William Alfred Thompson, France, Edmund Townend, Fr France, Arthur Wainwright, France, John Frederick Walters, France, John Thomas Watson, France. World War II, 1939 to 1945. Leslie George Bentley, England, Thomas Alfred Bolden, England, Geoffrey Booth, Germany, Sidney Bradley, England, Harold Burgess, England, Harold Edwin Clark, France, Frederick Cottington, Libya, John Robert Dawson, Holland, Edgar Dolphin, England, John Allen James, Germany, William Frank Langston, Holland, Morris Rupert Morley, England, Leonard Granville Mosley, England, Kenneth Edwin Peake, France, Malcolm Schofield Smith, England, Charles James Storer, Holland, Robert Thompson, Germany, Frederick Victor Thornhill, France. Albert Warner, Malta. Harvey William Wright, England. God bless.
we join together in prayer. To the bidding, Lord, in your mercy, would you respond, hear our prayer. Ever-living God, we remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who suffer today, for the injured and the disabled, for the mentally distressed, and for those whose faith in God and in man has been weakened. We pray for the homeless and the refugees, for the hungry, and for those who have lost everything. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those of our armed services currently serving in operations overseas, that they may be strengthened in meeting the task before them, for their families and loved ones who watch and wait and pray for their safe return, for the medical and support services who sustain them in their task and treat those who suffer injury, and for all who have returned from tours of duty, that they may be granted time for rest and recovery. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. As we honour those who sacrificed in the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of our life and hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We join together in the words that Jesus gave us, saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and to all God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you and all those whom you love now and forever.